Oh wait, who's playing? We don't know who's uh, we playing. We have Ray Tzu and Jet. Ray Tzu and Jet. Yeah, Ray Tzu is a. Uh, who's on left? Who's on the right? Left is Ray Tzu. How do I spell that? Ray, uh, space Z H I. Actually, maybe it's Ray Z I. Sorry, just single Jet I. Z I. And Jet J E D. J E D. Sorry, J E D. Jet. I can't English today. Yeah. English works. Yeah. You want to put uh, the matchups? Uh, no, no, it's okay. Man. It's, we can put it in like little brackets. Dredge versus uh, shops. So. Dredge versus shops. Shops. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, yeah, it's recording. So yeah. Uh, okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Vintage Playtest Night at Grey Games. Uh, this non DCI sanctioned event. Uh, it's not an event. Yeah, it's not an event. It's just, it's just people, people are coming. Magic with yeah. Each other. People are just coming here to play magic. Yeah, 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 definitely. Relax, Jack. I have my mic picking up. Hello. No, no, you gotta speak into the mic. Oh, yeah, let's talk into the mic. Okay. Speak this is into the mic. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. No, and you can lean it down like lean it down. closer okay. to you. This is so weird. I'm sorry. Lean man. back and relax. How do and I do this, eh? Yeah, until we find out like a proper solution for the bloody boom arm. Uh. This will have to do, unfortunately. What is the boom arm? What's, what's, the, what's the issue? Uh, like right now, the camera's tilted, which is okay. I mean, it captures okay, everything. Okay. But because the camera's tilted, we're going to see a lot of glare from the cards, which uh, is a little annoying. Yeah, yeah no worries. I'll, 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 help you t- I'll tell you what the cards are. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, my name is Mick. I'm, I'll be one of your hosts at the desk tonight. And with me is the back end, back end. Uh, <laughs> my uh, star. Ben Huang. Yes, yeah. your pawn name. So, Ray Tzu's hand looks to be serum powder and a... M- most importantly, which doesn't matter at all what he has <laughs> in his hand, is Bazaar Baghdad. Is Bazaar so Baghdad. That is oh, Ray Tzu is playing the dredge deck, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah he's nice. playing the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the bogeyman of the format, you know? It's the kind of What's stuff you tell your kids to always be prepared for. <laughs> Just I have a... Yeah. Oh, so Jet almost misplaced them. Yeah, uh, good played, job. Uh, Chalice was zero before... Uh, before uh, doing anything. Oh, okay. upbound so ravager. Pretty decent start. I mean, it's not I, a. It's not ideal. It's yeah. not a lodestone golem, of course. I mean, it's been restricted recently. Yeah, and that's why I I don't know. Would that start would have been? It's, it's okay. I mean, it's very aggressive and it's good against like uh, the shop's mirror, you know, because uh, yeah. getting any kind of clock down and uh, mistress factory is very important. But that's true. Now these cards matter because. Race is playing dredge. <laughs> so when he lays his first land, you're going to see Jet like fall over in his chair. Like, what happened? Oh, yes. Okay, it's not even the first land. It's not even the first land. <laughs> <sighs> oh, of oh. course. Yeah, he can only take the revoker, but the revoker doesn't hurt, doesn't, t- doesn't hit the bazaar anyway. So exactly. Does not matter. Does not matter. So, yeah. Jet's draw for the turn was, I can't see. Uh, I and now understand your problem. Yeah, you you get what I mean. Nope that that factory has summoning sickness. That's uh. Nope nope nope. Well, one of uh, them yeah, has okay, summoning sickness. Fine, whatever. <laughs> be an anal, be be anal retentive, man. No, the one that is I think, uh, I think blue should, in color. I think you should. I think you should not pump, because there's a there's a chance that on his upkeep, if he dredges enough and he puts enough bridges in the graveyard. You turn you turn the factory into a creature and you sacrifice it to the Akbar Ravager to get rid of all the bridges. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh well. Maybe I shouldn't talk so loud because yeah, they might, they might hear. Yeah. yeah. You see, but I have no clue about vintage. Uh, even though the yeah. podcast is called Power Nine Podcast, like I have absolutely zero, uh, maybe not zero knowledge about vintage. Yeah. All I know is that games happen within. Uh, most of them happen within so five one turns. Bridge. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, this is why you you need someone who like really loves this format no we can just do like color commentary and like oh, yeah. oh what's that happening I is he going to reanimate do, yeah. a Sarah avatar I think that's quite worth it paying yeah, yeah. 7 life and getting uh, I think he needs to discard for his bazaar yep oh that was quick <laughs> yeah so for those of you who don't know what this deck is like it it just does this it does that yes Yeah. It it's graveyard is pretty much its hand so uh, Rich is laying out the graveyard for his opponent to, to see what's going on and stuff like that yep. uh, it's a lot of triggers so it's a lot easier to play a Modo than it is to play in real life yeah because, otherwise you, you know, miss a lot, miss a lot of, of stuff. Yes. but that means that you know despite it being a what 
people consider a budget alternative. Uh-huh. Uh, it's actually quite a skill intensive deck to play. And yeah, you gotta like know what lines you have to know what lines you yeah. have to play, especially like post sideboard. I think that's very important. Uh, so second bazaar. This oh, game is nice. pretty this much is over. Game. Um, I don't think it matters uh, yep, too much. Yeah, but I think yeah, Jet could optimize his play a little bit. Just to make sure that there's a chance he. Uh, I don't know what what could he have done. Sideboard card with Serenity. And yes. That's not a nice card. That's not cool, man. Yeah. yeah. That's not cool, man. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't yeah. know what what else could he have done. I, I mean, like he he all I'm tried, seeing is that try to get the bridges down and uh, he could try and knock out the bridges. Maybe he can do it next turn. So maybe he is right to put some more pressure this turn. Mm. Um, but I think right now what you have is. Rates is probably gonna go broken and get reanimate Elishnorn maybe off a grave off a dread return. Oh yeah, yeah. So okay. you just see the you just yeah, saw, I the just saw the dread return. return. Was there Elishnorn in there? There's Elishnorn there. Oh yeah, oh, okay. I, you can't see me, but I'm pointing at the screen. Obviously, yeah, uh, this I'm a pre-digital <laughs> guy. So <laughs> <laughs> we need one of those pens, right, where we can like draw on the screen. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Ee- like this co- is the play, yeah, the football, football is saying like yeah. so this is the play so they were like you know, <laughs> Yeah, so you bring the Nakomiba from this side to the red zone. Yeah, yeah. And, and then you cross the ball. Then you and cross then the ball, yeah, exactly. <laughs> pass here, pass here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you so see, this is what we need. This is what we need color commentary for. Because nobody yeah. has is, is any color, idea is what's color happening. Color commentary considered racism? Uh very funny. Yeah. Uh so which color do you want out of the five colors of magic, I mean, look, right? Look, there's a lot of black cards. There's a lot there's of black cards. There's a lot of blue <laughs> some cards probably on the other table. Yeah, on the other side, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see any There's white, yeah, there's white and well, black in this deck, I think right? There's and fair brown. representation in, in, in Rates' deck. You know, there's a lot the of the white. There's green cards, there's, there's a red and white card. You know, there's actually you know? not uh, as many white cards in his deck as there are black cards. So yeah, that's over representation. Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna he's putting the... he's putting tokens into play. Oh what? Let me is... go sort him out with some cool beta skate zombies now. Uh too late. Yeah, just a concession. Yeah. Uh yeah. in response I scoop. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't think you could have optimized play any better at no, that point. No, actually right? at that oh, point. Oh you have you can take out the bridges. Fine. Yeah, so the reason why Rater, uh, well, why Jet lost was because Rita could cash in his creatures in play to put um multiple zombies per creature. So say he had, I think he had three bridges or two bridges in play. Three mm-hmm. bridges in play. So what happens is, for every creature he sacrifices to Dread Return or Cabal Therapy, he okay. gets a uh, he gets three zombies. Yeah. So three, dom- three zombies and the Flame King Zealot mean, mean that it's nine, uh, nine to the nine times two to the and then plus no nine times three because they get all get plus one plus one. Yes. From the Flame King. Okay. So if he had been able to knock out the bridges in his upkeep, for example, his draw step. Um, no, but with what? what by by animating the the Mistress Factory and okay. sacrificing it to his outbound to the okay yeah because bridge is a equal opportunity card not really <laughs> so it says if if your opponent puts creatures into the graveyard uh, like you also you get to, no you have to sacrifice the bridge the bridge gets removed from the oh game. yeah yeah okay yeah. okay right well not sacrifice exile the bridge hmm. so if he had done that I don't think he would have lost I mean Drake is still going to be able to animate Elishnorn which is a I'm gonna try to do something. Uh, was it bridge? Bridge from below. Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna try to put that card into yeah, existence. Yeah, I mean, this card is not a. It's not. Nope. I mean, it's not. Future side was not a friendly set. <laughs> Future side was not a set where you could look at a card and immediately tell what it did, and. <laughs> <laughs> if you could tell what it did you wouldn't like, really know yeah, it's like it has a casting cost it's never been I don't think it's been casted except in for, three, yeah exactly you know like situations where you have like smokestack or something I guess you would cast a bridge but even then okay yeah. let's see whether I can put this image into nope alright so let's save this hey man don't look at the other images on this computer <laughs> you don't want to know oh, wait this is your computer so yeah this is my computer I shouldn't be looking at the other images then what am I gonna find? Uh, cards. You know, <laughs> <laughs> some intercolor. Oh man, what? Yeah, no, it looks like I don't have any space for that. That's fine. Oh I well. Mean, I don't think the I don't think having the card on the screen is gonna help anybody understand what the card. Yeah, does. what the card. Yeah, so exactly. <laughs> it's better we try and explain it to them. But yeah, I mean, I think if he had done that, he would have had a shot, especially with like, for example, Metamorph being in his deck. And he has like oh okay, f- okay yeah yeah he has he has cards that don't immediately die to to um 
to Elish Nord in. But he resticks a tangle wire, you know, he locks Rachel down for a while, he can develop his board. So that's just to clarify, this were that was turn two? Yeah, yeah that was second two, yeah. second uh bazaar back there and then the yeah, game was yeah. over. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So vintage people. Vintage, we love vintage. Yeah. yeah. But this is a reason why it's the bogeyman in the format. Like, yeah, it with, does end out games like really yeah. just quickly. Like, yeah, I, I think was not see, prepared. You will see effective turn two concessions from rates in this game if Jet gets some of his really strong hit cards. So what are the hit cards that uh, Shop works with? I have a bit of an advantage in this uh, few because like, he just bought them from us. Oh, so, uh, I know why <laughs> he's going to do Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, But commonly, they play some combination. I don't think you'll be like rest in peace, right? No. You see, the, 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 the mud deck is effectively a brown deck. It has yep. no colored mana sources other exactly. than the moxes, which... You know, you Which don't really, to, yeah, exactly. To actually try and run a colored spell off. Um, <laughs> he probably is has a mix of, he, I, I know he has a mix of uh, Graf Digger's Cages, uh, Graf Digger's Cages, and Graf Digger's Genitus. Oh, okay. uh, and I think in some extreme versions of the deck, well, no, I won't say extreme, um, the idea is that there are, there are, the hands are binary. Either you have interaction or you don't. So you might as well play the hands... You might as well play the best kinds of interaction. So the best kinds uh, are like Lena of the Boy. Okay. And in the Storm matchup, Lena of Sanctity. So I think people like... I mean, the VSL decks, like LSV's decks ran four of each Leyline and then just seven other cards too. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. And Graph Digger's is really good because it's good against Oath. It's good against Storm. And yeah, yeah cool okay. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right. Graph Digger's cage is the one that uh, prevents you from targeting cards in the graveyard, right? Oh, no, no. It's the one that prevents creatures from coming to play from no, libraries no, or graveyard. Uh, and then it prevents uh, spells from being played from library or graveyard. Yeah, yeah, okay. So what it does against Rage's deck is it prevents like blood gas. And you know, then what's the card that uh, prevents cards uh, from being targeted in the graveyard? Ground Seal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's the green. It's ground Seal. Mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Graph Digger's Cage is like so much better, right? It's so much better because exactly. it hits uh it hits so many pieces it like hits Black Gas. It doesn't hit uh, it hits uh Nakumiba. Yeah, it hits yeah. Nakumiba because that comes from the library, not it's from pretty the pretty quick start. Oh this nice. Is, uh, hanger back for one. Hmm. This is like standard, you know, just on with on steroids. <laughs> Unfortunately standard on steroids is not gonna beat it's not oh. gonna beat uh So Rich oh, has gone yay. with the uh the, the manual. The Draw. manual mode as we call it, you know. <laughs> Draw, go, discard, yeah. and discard a stinky, yeah, yeah, the landless uh, version yeah. of Dredge okay, almost. Okay. So now he's remembered to attack with the right Mistress Factory, uh. <laughs> and he's using the mana presumably to sink, uh, to pump, to to inflate the Hanging Back Walker, okay. making a bigger balloon, and uh, he's pumping. So uh, I guess this is fitting for an aggressive. Well, well, yeah. I mean, like he's not going to prevent. Well, so it, it comes out of the same problem, right? But yeah. he doesn't have Bazaar back there right now, so it doesn't really it's matter. Interesting. I, I, I think in Razor's position, I probably would have mulliganed to maybe... Try to hit a... This is a discussion bazaar. we've had. Like, um, Okay, so the idea here is that you... you with, with most hands that you mulligan, you're looking for equity, right? You're looking for a, a mix of cards that are good in the matchup and cards that help you interact and stuff like that. Mm. The problem with this, with the dredge deck, or not the problem, or the, the kind of paradox is that the more you... The more you, the more you mulligan, the more important bazaar becomes because bec bazaar is effectively drawing you more cards by yes uh, by you know helping you dredge even more. So if you mulligan once, you're even more priced into mulliganing again. Yeah, because yeah. you're not drawing the because cards drawing. anyway. Yeah, yeah, of course. So but I mean that's that hap that's it's it's interesting. So I th I think mm. the right play almost always is to mulligan to, to bazaar. just mulligan. Yeah. As painful as that, <laughs> that just I mean, does, that just doesn't sound very nice to yeah, do. But you look at his hand and you can, you understand why he kept it because he has the serenity. Yes, he has the serenity and he has uh well he's got enablers already in yeah. hand so it's fine. But I, I don't I still think it's it's not worth it. I think you still need uh, to get a bazaar. But it's one out of four cards in your deck, man. That's gonna be yeah, but I think someone did the math. Uh, I think there's actually a sety something percent odd chance that you're drawing. No, your I think it's hand. like ninety eight or something, ninety five or ninety eight percent. No, if you no, mulligan no. all the way to one. Oh, if you mulligan yeah. all the way. To Factoring <laughs> serum powder. <laughs> it's just yeah. no, but uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Mulliganing to one is better than, in fact, arguably better than a three card no bazaar hand. It's actually probably better than a f 
five card no bizarre hand because with the ability to to dredge, you you're seeing more cards. Remember yeah, the, yeah. Your your graveyard is your resource, right? Remember the comparison that we made to the hand being the, your your graveyard being your hand. Imagine uh, a card that said pain. draw six cards. Yep. Hmm. So Blood Dust is not very good at blocking. <laughs> <laughs> Evident. Evident. So he's going with the manual. Uh, oh no, I see one bizarre okay, bag okay. that gone. So that's actually really, really good for Ritsu because he, now he has Cabal Therapy. So you can cash in, he can turn his Blood Gas into a zombie. Does he have a bridge? Yeah, he melted a bridge, I think. No, but that's not good. Like, he can get rid of the Hanger Back Walker infinitely, yeah. so... I think what Ritsu might end up doing at some point is trying to get a second land to cast Serenity. That seems to have been his game plan. Well, yeah, but I don't think it's gonna not great with the hanger bags either. Exactly. I don't think it's gonna work because with the man lands is not yep. fantastic. Yeah. And if Jet ever feels like that's a problem, he can always waste the city yeah, of the brass. City of brass exactly. Like time walk him for a turn. No, he can just go in with the this with the yeah. He could probably attack No, he can't, huh? Yeah, would be no, good. yeah, if you're attacking, it would be... Oh, no, he should have, he should have late, flashed yeah. back the therapy before he laid the land. Yes, no, mm. why did you do that? Oh, well. Oh, maybe he knows that his opponent doesn't have a relevant card in his hand, but it's still a 3-2-2, two, two, which helps you against the... Uh, the hangar by Walker, yeah. Or the army of Mishra's factories. <laughs> <laughs> the, the communist uh, manland. <laughs> <laughs> why is it a communist manland? I don't know, it's just assembly worker, man. Oh, yeah. gosh, the old X and the that is that's more like the capitalist man land oh, yeah, oh yeah it's like assembly worker I am working for my money you know, you they're okay. not doing it for free man look you're at that doing it for free? It's like, yeah. oh yeah I guess you're paying them one man under sure, yeah exactly yeah. you know it's they not like zero yeah. turn into like the two two there is some kind of extrinsic motivation <laughs> so to speak you have to pay uh, he is double wasteland this is this, this game uh, is yeah this over. game's over yeah 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 I'm sorry <laughs> Uh, as much as I do not know much about vintage, like yeah. I believe this game should be quite over. Although I was watching him play that deck against uh, against you last week, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, he kept naming for Cabal Therapy. He kept naming some other some other card and not Rest in Peace. I would have thought Rest in Peace just like nullifies the deck. I think right? the the reasoning is that. As because as you can see, um, on both ends of this matchup, uh, there's a lot of m archetypes in vintage that require sideboard dedicated sideboard slots. Um, mm -hmm. People end up playing cards that overlap. People end up playing cards that are multi-purpose. So like containment priest is good against this deck as well as oath as well as uh, you know anything with aether vial or collected companies and stuff like that. Yep. Um, and as a result, maybe Razor was going for the, the median play. He wasn't going for the card that absolutely destroys him, but he was going for the card that is most probable. That's most likely going to yeah. be in your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, of course, Rest in Peace is just a, a kick in the nuts. But, <laughs> but truth be told, he has a lot more... Well, for Dredge, is, for Dredge is more than a kick in the nuts, man. Yeah, yeah. That's but I, I'm not sure. I mean, there's, to be honest, he, he has a lot of answers for... A lot more answers for Rest in Peace than he does for uh, Containment Priest. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Like, uh, you were mentioning he has... Barbarian I don't know. Ring for yeah. Priest. And that, uh, that's it, right? Yeah, Barbarian he has Nature's Claims and, and uh, some versions have Wisme because they're so... Oh, people play, uh, afraid of... Nature's Claim is the one that gains you for life? Or is yeah, it the... Yeah, gains you for life. Okay, okay. If he, if he, uh, you know, he destroy one of his things. Artifact or enchantment. Right. Yep, oh, yep. finally, a bazaar bag that... No, sacrifice the dude, man. Sacrifice the dude. Do Cabal Therapy yeah, maybe, first. Is there something we're missing here? Uh, it's not we are missing. I, why are the Revokers still in the deck? Revokers don't do anything. <laughs> They're like the goggles. They do nothing. I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> the goggles. Hey, they do nothing. The <laughs> <laughs> this gone, lads. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe he just needed a 2-1 two two to be done with. <laughs> 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 is he afraid? No, no. No, afraid of what? What yeah. would he be? Yeah. Does he maybe think you can... You can, can you... Yeah, can you stop... Can you name Bazaar Baghdad? No, Bazaar Baghdad. Can you name uh, Gogari Grave Troll? I don't think so. It's, it's only... Yeah, it only yeah. works with things on the battlefield, right? Yeah, and like the only and other activated ability in the deck besides uh, Bazaar Baghdad is like Barbarian Ring or like Serum Powder. And if your opponent's casting Serum Powder... 
think you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're fine. Yeah. No, you see, you should have done the cabal therapy first. Then you lay the land. Then you get back the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. But I, I guess sometimes people have, have a little bit of nervousness when they're on camera. Yeah. You know, they... Nobody watches this. Nobody cares. Nobody cares? Yeah, yeah exactly. Can we check whether people are watching this? All right. Uh, I'll bring out my laptop. You keep talking. I think you can just pull it up on the, on the computer over there. Why don't I... Wait. Wait. Use the laptop, man. So I'm not Second sure if, solution. I'm not sure if you can actually hear me, so I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, so yeah, I think Reed is slowly realizing that he needs to beat the hangerback walker at some point. So how uh, do you beat the hangerback walker? Uh, you can't exile it. You can't. Yeah. So he he needs to actually go over the top, right? Because Serenity is gonna blow them all up, and then did he lay a second land this turn? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. No. Nope. Yeah, yeah. I think he did. Yes. Yeah. I think they can hear us now, so I think we might have to be. A little bit a little quiet, quieter. Like. This is Grioga Games After Dark. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is, is electric. You know, <laughs> this is yeah. <laughs> this Grioga Games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weekly ASMR. What? Yeah, ASMR magic. What's this ASMR? Thing. Uh, no, the acoustic sound. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay. I forget. I forget exactly what ASMR stands for. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, <laughs> we have how many people are watching us? Oh uh, no! It says here we're offline. That's wrong. That's horrible. Let's just go. No, let's just go to the channel and let's check it out. There'll be one person watching, which is me. Oh, that's very encouraging. Uh, I'm watching my own channel. Oh, yeah. There are five people. Oh, there are five people watching. Hello, five people. Identify yourselves. <laughs> uh, Did I miss out any chat? Can people hear me? Yeah, maybe. Oh, there's an ad. There's wow. An ad. Oh. Okay. What ad is this? I did not know ads ads play over the Yeah, that's kind of Okay. Alright, so now it's game three and after this game I need to go and adjust the camera because everybody keeps banging on the table and like it's all shaky shaky. Yeah, it looks like you're playing in an earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they can hear us, you know. <laughs> can you guys hear us? No they can't. You can't even hear me now. <laughs> Wait, wait, let, let's go back. I I need to go and find out what ASMR stands for. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, it's oh aut autonomous. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you, you get a turn two roughing and lose? <laughs> Why are you playing No, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, that beats. That's awesome. That kind of beats. Yeah. Suck it, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what it's like to have no lands. <laughs> <laughs> For the re for the record for the viewers, <laughs> 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 we've, uh, we've lost the lands. Yeah. We blue cards. <laughs> ways to force or will things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, autonomous sensory oh, meridian okay, response. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, you play like yeah. you you have you all speak in a certain pitch, like a certain tone, a certain yeah. wavelength. So welcome, welcome to the ASMR magic. Cast. I I see, I think I've heard <laughs> about this. Like Every girls one. girls do it. And yeah, yeah. And no, uh, it's, very it's very pleasant because they have nice voices. Exactly. You know, guys Unlike do it too. Goons. Guys do it too, and like you you take things like paper and like you crunch it up. So for for magic, it'll be. Why is this? Ad yeah, why is the ad still there? Goodness. Uh, but for magic, you like take cards and you go like. So is this being broadcast on the? Uh, on. That's odd. Mm. This, this is was quality. This was quality broadcasting, you know. Yeah. yeah. No, it is broadcasting, but uh, sorry, we're unable to connect to chat. Reconnecting in four seconds. Oh, okay, okay. It's it's probably because we like eating up the bandwidth or something. Yeah, right? uh, I mean. The upload speed, uh, so what's amazing about fiber, right, is that the upload speed is a hell lot faster than the download speed. Okay. Which okay. makes it like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, really Actually, I have an have a interesting, I've, I've interesting, uh, like, not encounter. Um, one of my a tenant, a person who wants to stay in my house, mm -hmm. is a, like a full-time streamer for League of Legends. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she works at uh, one of these places that streams things. Yeah, so she asked me, she wants to install fiber optic in my house because... Oh, yeah. because she has because the stream, she has right? The stream, exactly. Yeah. Which is pretty interesting. Okay. So Okay, so you I know. should get to meet this person. Uh yeah, why not? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think <laughs> she does some related work, so you might be interested. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, so yeah he's why don't stretching you stretching? Yeah. And but so he played Bazaar on turn one. Uh and oh, yeah. then he his opponent plays uh his opponent played uh 
So one played uh, Wasteland on his bazaar, and then he dumps three dredges. Oh, but great. if he doesn't have a oh, he and has a follow up. So bizarre, yeah, welcome sure. to welcome, welcome to, to um, vintage magic, everybody. You know. <laughs> welcome to Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, turn one. <laughs> All his opponent was waste his opponent's land, and now yeah. his hand is effectively the size of you know, the Two, 15, three. 18 cards. And six, sure. Uh, and now he's got to discard three cards. I wonder why he's going to discard now. Yeah. What? No, no prizes. Gogari for grave troll, Gogari grave oh, troll, look. and yeah, yeah, of course. Why? Don't, don't feed the trolls. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we have we're down to two viewers. Oh no! We're definitely doing something wrong. Yeah. Uh, where is my dashboard? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it says dashboard. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. What is this? Uh no, no, it's just the oh, dashboard. It helps me keep track of oh. of things. Okay, okay. What does it say offline? Uh I don't know. The dashboard is really slow in Twitch. Okay, okay. You as a you know. Yeah. So yeah, so turn one uh you're able to go off on well, look, it's more standard. More uh, hanging back walkers are being yeah. fast. I don't think it's going to matter because he doesn't have any interaction with Rachel's graveyard. So yep. he's going to go absolutely bananas this turn. Uh, okay, he's so gonna, he's he gonna needs gonna to, yeah, he'll activate Bazaar in his upkeep. Dredge. Why on the upkeep though? Uh, so you get the extra draw phase. So you get the, you, you oh, okay, things okay, happen okay. and then you get to dredge again in your draw phase. That and you get to put things in the graveyard so that you can then use, uh, pay for the accurate trigger. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, like, say if it's like Stingwing Im was the only black creature in your graveyard, you dredge Stingwing Im, hope to hit other black creatures, and then pay for the crit trigger. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Th- yeah. Okay. Well, you can go and check. Yes, ben we should like be. You see at Grey Ogre games. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a different one. Yeah. So you're not routing it through the. Are we not broadcasting? Oh, I think you're broadcasting yeah. The yeah. 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 That's right. Okay. Okay. We can host it. I, yeah, it's not a bad idea. How come there's no one, no one chatting in the? Hey, Twitch chat. Come on, guys. Kappa. Oh <laughs> uh, man, no, my laptop's kind of stalling out, which is kind of weird. Oh yeah, uh, I'm okay. just gonna close that, and maybe bring it up down here. Sure. Twitch. Do people can people see it? Uh no, people can't see. Oh, because you're broadcasting the window. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I'm only broadcasting the camera. So people play Warcraft. People play Warcraft three. Yes. Still. Oh wow. Uh, hey, log out. Hey, anyone at, on Twitch chat listening to us? We need food. Send help. Yes, please. I'm really hungry. Yeah. So this is what I mean by bazaar is really draw X cards. Is it really? You really can't. It's you could com- probably compute the average number of cards you draw, I- effective With cards you draw by putting it in the graveyard. Um, no, I believe he gets to lay the land because Get back all he the goes out in his upkeep. Mm. So we need someone over there to correct this because he got he did lay, he laid the land last turn, I believe. So I'm not sure. Hmm. But... Without a, since without this is a an actual event, yeah, exactly. we don't actually have know, judges. Nobody, but nobody uh, cares. I don't think Razor needs any help winning this game, so yeah. we should be fine. Yeah, he's just demonstrating that he can dread return. Uh, oh, Why he's is got he four bridges. Oh, he's got four bridges. Oh, okay, oh, that's okay, great. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's great. So, so apart from like sacrifice. a wretched bomb on Jet's side, yeah. No, even a wretched bomb won't do the, won't do the trick. Cause oh, okay, it no, will, no, no tokens, will, right? Tokens. It will kill his um his hanger back, remove all the bridges. Okay, then, that's uh, true. I guess you need two wretched bombs. Yeah. yeah. Or you could do something like dismember your your own uh, hanger back walker. Jeez, uh, that that's twelve two twos. Yeah, that's twelve to do. So you can't really tell because the dice are really, really small. But those yeah, are twelve to do. And that's twenty-four twos. damage. So that's uh, you sacrifice three. What do you sacrifice to bring back? The no, he just he just let the Icarus die at the end of the turn. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> okay. 
No, he should use it for like dread return or something. Ah, uh, he should have. I don't think he hit a dread return. I think why why he didn't he the reason why he didn't attack was because oh, worm coil engine. Hey, hey, that will good. help. That will help a little bit. Is that good enough? Because uh, he's been paying, like, playing them off Ancient Tombs. Yeah, exactly. That's so he, he paid what? two for Ancient Tomb last turn to play the, the Soul Ring. He's on, he's 14, on 14, yeah. Right? Wow, you can see. Oh yeah, you can see it from the live counter. Oh, ah, okay, nice. See, not everything needs to be digital. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have to have, uh, man, we have, we got to have like somebody on standby. To oh yeah, yeah, yeah. or like have a, have a live, pa- like, a, like a flip yeah. counter thing they do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think Hararuya does it quite well. They have a, like a iPad that they use an app. Oh, to yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be something that we look into. Mm. Increasing, yeah, yeah. you know, no, production the phone was, value. The phone's actually quite good. Like we just put the phone somewhere at the top and helps with the life. Do you advertise this, Mark? No. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I just did it so that it's not the seven. Wow. wow. Hey. Hello, Hello, seven people. No, they can't hear you, Mark. They, yeah. they can't. No one can hear you. This is what I have to put up with every day at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how... I don't know. Yeah, you can gain six life of worm coil, but if I hit you for like... A bajillion, right? Oh, yeah. If I hit you for like 36, uh, you're not going to survive. Wow, let's... Wow. So yeah. What did he just do? They just return all his four acreants. Oh great. And he's gonna mm-hmm. attack for thirty six or thirty eight total. Do they have haste? Yeah, they have haste. Oh, right, so right, right. the accurate I mechanic was in torment and the idea was you had this recurring threat. Uh-huh. Something that just comes back every turn, you know, at the cost oh, of eating one of you. Uh over time is become a dredge fueling monster yeah <laughs> or a dredge uh you dredge know, enab- uh not dredge enab- capitalizing but, yeah. monster so yeah it, i i think he can i think he still did <laughs> yeah he still did he blocks he blocks um uh, you can't see me pointing obviously he blocks, he blocks. one accurate with the uh with the one call he blocks another accurate with the um hanging back he takes 24 in the air tw- 24 from the zombies six more from the Six more from the um, Nakamibas. The six more from the other Icarids, and then two okay, more from the right. Nakamibas. Yeah. So four more. Eh? Yeah, two more from the four more from the Nakamibas. Four more. But Raider is just getting greedy. I mean, the round's gonna be over, so you might as well play out his entire deck. Yeah, show yeah. off, right? Yeah, no. uh, not show off. I mean, <laughs> just you know, make like the Walking Dead and attack. Oh man, that is Brains. so many things. Brains. Well, you could read zombies. Uh, I think they're horrors. Oh, they're rats, right? I think they're horrors. So they don't actually get returned by thing in the ice. Oh, uh, wow. Is that even being played? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the way, all the way from 1990, uh, from like 2002. Uh, Ikari is a horror. Yeah, Whoa. a horror of horrors. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Okay. Mm. So, this is where Rachel explains arithmetic to Jet. Uh, and they pack it up <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> so wait wait that's 12 24 it's damage 24 plus, plus 3 plus 12 again so 24 plus 6 yeah. plus another 4 in the six air so game. that's 40 you can gain 6 life and block off 1 2 and block two 6 creatures. Yeah. yeah you still die yeah you very did. badly cool so that's round 1 thank game. you for walking wa- wa- watching uh We'll be also, back thank you for walking thank because you for walking. your your legs are working. Yeah, some people Good don't job. have that privilege. Yeah, so. exactly. Good job.